Hi, my name is Devin Henry and I'm a pediatric physical therapist. A pediatric physical therapist is a medical professional that works with children and their families to improve their gross motor skills. Our goal is to help children reach their maximum potential to function independently at home, in the community, and at school. Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a pediatric physical therapist. I'm gonna take you through a few exercises to do as a warm up. You can do these either sitting down or standing up. The first exercise we're gonna do is ankle pumps. You're going to move your feet up and down, just like me. So you bring your toes up to your nose and then point them down. You can do them together or you can do it one at a time. Do about 20 each side. Our second exercise is going to be head circles. Again, these are probably done best sitting up, but what you're gonna do is take your ear all the way to your shoulder, your chin to your chest, your opposite ear to your shoulder, and look back, just like this. You wanna make sure you get a good stretch on either side. Once you do about five or 10, you wanna go ahead and do the other side. Our next exercise in sitting, or you can do this in laying down as well, is going to be single knee to chest. So you're gonna take your hands on your knee, pull your knee up to your chest, and hold for about three to five seconds, alternating each leg. You can do 10 on each side. Remember, if you need a break, feel free to take one. Our last exercise is gonna be lower trunk rotation. So you're gonna lay down on your back, with your hands out like a T, and your knees pointed to the sky. You're gonna slowly twist your legs, bring them to the table while keeping your shoulders and your back on the table. Hold for five to 10 seconds. Slowly bring your legs up to the middle and go to the other side. If it, you feel any pulling or discomfort, just don't go as far down the next rep. And you can do each of these 10 on each side. The next set of exercises can be done in your bed, and these are to address core strengthening as well as glute strengthening. So the first one, you're going to lay down on your back with your knees up pointed to the sky and your hands by your side. You're going to lift your bottom up off the bed and hold for anywhere between five to ten seconds. Slowly come down. Do that one ten times. If that's too easy for you, you can take your hands across your chest and do the same exercise. It makes it a little bit harder because you have to balance a little bit more. Again, you can do 10 times or 20 times if you want to. The next exercise is called a single leg raise. Again, you'll be laying down. You're gonna wanna keep your hands by your side. You're gonna keep one leg bent and one leg straight. You're gonna make a muscle and push your straight leg down to the ground. Lift your leg up nice and slow. He is not to rush this exercise. And if you feel like your front of your leg is burning, then you're doing it right. Once you do 10 on one side, you switch and you do 10 on the other side. Nice and slow. The next exercise is called sideline clamps. You're gonna lay on your side. With your, you can either put your hand down, bent on your arm, or you can either keep your legs bent at first and you're gonna open them like a clamshell. Open slow and come down. And open and come down. If that one's too easy for you, you can straighten your top leg, keep it straight all the way, lift up and come down. Lift up and come down. The key is you don't wanna roll backwards. You wanna keep your hip pointing at the sky. And you can do 10 on each leg. The last exercise is gonna be sitting on the edge of your bed. What you can do for this one is if you feel like you need to hold on, you can put your hands down by your sides and you can slowly march your legs in place, just like this, holding for three to five seconds. Once you do 10 to 15 on each leg, take a break. And if you wanna make it harder the next time, you can put your hands across your chest and do the same thing, just like this. Or if that's too hard, you can even put one arm down. The last exercise, I'm gonna have our assistant, Devin, come in to help. You'll be sitting on the edge of the bed and make sure you have a caregiver or a nurse with you. You can either keep your feet on the ground or keep them raised off the bed. And what you're gonna do is they're gonna hold targets or hands out for you and you're gonna to wanna to reach and grab and come up. If that's too close, have them go further and come back. 
go in all directions, and the key is you're working on your sitting balance and your core strength. And the really hard one would be if she comes in front to lean forward. The last set of exercises are cool down exercises and stretching. So you can do this with a towel that you can find in your room if you need it, a towel or sheet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the sheet and you're gonna fold it in half and then in half again. So it looks like a little hot dog. You're gonna take the sheet in your hands, put it on your foot, and you're going to lay down. So stretch your hamstrings. If you can either keep your leg as straight or if you need to bend it, when you come up to the top, you can take it down a little bit to make sure it's straight. You should feel a slight pull on the back of your leg. Hold for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. And once you've done the right side, you can switch legs and do the left side. Feel free to take a break between legs if you need it, and then do it one more time on each leg. string exercise, but you can also use a caregiver if you need it. So laying in your bed, your caregiver is going to come over. You can sometimes bending one knee is a little more comfortable. They're going to pick up your leg, take it to 90 degrees, and push your foot so you're almost making a straight line. You shouldn't feel any pain, but you might feel a little bit of discomfort. If it's too uncomfortable, tell your caregiver and they can drop your leg a little bit lower. Hold this for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. Complete on both legs and complete two times. Next exercise is going to be stretch your quadricep, which is the front of your leg. So there's two ways you can do it. You can lay on your side like this with your hand down and pull your leg back. And you should feel a little bit of a pull on the front of your leg. Again, hold for 30 seconds. Complete on both legs and take a rest break if you need to. The last stretch we're going to complete, you can do this either sitting or laying down on your bed. I'm gonna do it sitting. You're gonna take your sheet or your towel and you're gonna loop it on the top of your foot, just like I have right here. You're going to then pull the sheet back so your toes come towards your nose. You should feel a little bit of a stretch on the back of your lower leg. Hold for 30 seconds, take a short break, and do it again. Complete on both sides. If this is hard for you, you can also have your caregiver come help. I find it's easiest if you're laying down. The caregiver is going to hold your foot and your leg just at your knee. And then you're going to take the middle of your arm and you're going to push the toes to the patient's Hold. You should feel a little bit of discomfort along the back of your leg. Hold for 30 seconds to a minute and then relax. Complete both sides of the leg two times each. I hope you all enjoy these exercises and remember it's always good to, no matter how well you're not feeling.